Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us here on the Rum Boys Fancy Sports yes, Network. Sir. It's your boy Robbie J with my co-host Ty Boogie. What up? What up? Good to be on. Cheers to me. Cheers to you, all the Rum Boys and girls. What it do? I love that intro. We might be so oh, far man. into this, but I love that intro. I know. So Such a so ceremonious so toast. It, it like so breathes good. the atmosphere. You know, everything. It just makes us feel good. It's pretty bad. We like call each other and say that. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have another Liddy episode of these seven on the seven seas of YouTube here for you guys. Another one. Another one. Pirates, go ahead and climb on board. Get ready because it's about to go down. Ooh. Today we're gonna be talking money madness. Money, 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 money. Not money, Manzel. Money. Not money, Manzel. By the way, shout out to him though for I mean, making key, the I was AGA, say, yeah, I mean, the AF. It's not, he's going the right direction. Yeah, Memphis it's Express like, and next, but <laughs> but wanted to go ahead and first and give us and give a shout out to all of our partners, our sponsors, endorsements. You know, want to give a shout out to the people that make all this happen and possible. First, we got to shout out Sportscaster, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you guys check us out on Sportscaster. Your views during the whole month of April will send us to Los Angeles, May 16th through the 19th, for the NFL Players Association Rookie Premiere. We will ask the question you want to ask. Some, you know, we'll we'll Within be light about it. We'll see what's good. Throw us some questions. You know, if we make it, we're obviously trying to ask some good questions, some off the wall questions the Rum Boys would be asking. So, oh, yeah. you know, I, stay I just want to see what Kyler Murray's going to be like in that atmosphere. Oh, like, like, like Rum Boys and rookies. Hashtag Rum Boys I and wanna, rookies. I just want. I want to be there. I just want to experience it. Oh yeah, bro. Sick. DK, like meeting all those guys, going to be dope. Also, want to give a shout out to Thrive Fantasy app. Make sure you use promo code Rum Boys in all caps. So that you guys can get a match on whatever your first deposit is whenever you download the app. On Available on Android and iOS. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. And then finally, Tix Blitz, the official ticket provider of the Rum Boys Fantasy Sports Network. Guaranteed prices, guaranteed seats, guaranteed emotions. TixBlitz.com. Use promo code RUMBOYS, once again, all caps, for 5% off your ticket purchase. Mm -hmm. Dilly, dilly. <laughs> Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we got to get in some money. Madness. <laughs> There's a lot of money going There's around. There's a lot There's of a money lot going lot around this month of March. Let's, let's, uh... Um, first we gotta talk about that boy, that a bad man, Mike Trout. Mike Trout, four hundred and thirty milli, twelve years. He basically 13. took thirteen, thirteen years. I think it's twelve. I think it's twelve. Bryce Harper's Harper's is thirteen. 13. Yeah, Harper's thirteen. But he basically took Harper's contract. And just blew it out the water. And just told him to shove it. That's a rookie contract. Is what he <laughs> pretty said. much, yeah. pretty much. I mean, Bob, you know, Machado, Harper, those are guys that are still getting, uh, get, getting, get into the bag. Um, another dude recently in the MLB got into the bag, right? Uh, uh Bregman, yeah, yeah Alex yeah. Bregman, Astros third baseman, just got a six-year, hundred million dollars. So, I mean, that's some good cash flow too. That is that's good, good cash, cash flow. flow, especially for being like the second or third guy in that yeah. Astros team. They're stacked. There's a lot of big paydays happening in the MLB. We talked about Nolan Ar Arenado on one of our last episodes. Um, you know, wow. it's just too much. Go fucking ahead. money, too much fucking money, man. I don't too know. much money. So here's my question to you. Ah, uh, all right. Let's say you know you got our show, and then you got six other shows out there, and you're you're the best. You're the best podcast co-host. On the planet, you're, you're I like receiving. To think that. Thank you. You're receiving. Yeah, yes, yes, you are. You're you're receiving iHeartRadio Music Awards. You know, for 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 top tier podcast co-hosts, you're receiving. You know, FSWA. You know, scholars and, and awards and things like that as a co-host. Wouldn't you want to have? You'd be mad that a co-host from a different show is going to make more than you when you're like, "What's going on? Like, I'm the best. Oh. My resume says this, this, this." Yeah, but I mean, like, think think about the people that just signed. I mean, Machado got three hundred million. Arenado did. I mean, Harper did. Like, and there's only two separate MVP awards. But all right, so here's the thing: there's one best, one best. So Mike Trout, unlike unlike Harper, Mike Trout is consistent with what he does. And Mike Mike Trout has been ridiculous Dude, his, his whole, whole career. career. His, he has been an MVP candidate, maybe not winner, but MVP candidate his entire career. Rookie Facts. season. Like he deserve he deserves the money. He's the most electrifying. He's got player more home runs right now than Barry Bonds did. Like he blew the numbers this, out the water. I get it. 
And that's why I'm saying he deserves the money. I don't feel like it's too much money. $430 million. Bro, look at it this way. You go in the weight room, though. Every day, you're putting your body on the line. You go out there on the field. You're putting your body on the line. You know, putting your body on the line for your teammates and everything like that. I love if it. If you're the best, get that fucking bag, bro. Well, let me ask you this Get thing. that bag. You're, you're a Capitals fan. Yeah. Your boy... Alexander Ovechkin, 124 million. The heart, probably one of the most known, hardest playing yeah. hockey players. More than puts his body on the line, fights people constantly. Probably the most violent sport, and he's paid like a quarter of but what hockey trout. So is. here's the thing with with Ovi, highest paid player in hockey for his sport. Hey, you deserve that money. Now, hockey doesn't have as much money as baseball. We've all known since little kids that if you want to make bread. Learn how to swing a damn bat. Learn how to swing a bat. That that just blows me away. Like Matt Matt Ryan's the highest paid quarterback, and he get he's literally being paid to take hits from hits. huge ass it's a continuous six, six seven foot dudes that are two three hundred football, pounds. Football is a continuous he didn't hour even, long. He didn't even car, car crash. Million. I mean, I get they get paid Good. like a qu- or they sign for a quarter the amount of years. Like Trout going for over ten years is his whole career. I mean, it's yeah. you know what I mean. Like I get that you just signed your whole career away, but not away. But Fair, yeah, I mean, damn, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of fucking money. I mean, four hundred thirty million dollars. You know what I'd do with four hundred thirty million dollars? Buy the Angels. Man. He can buy his team. I buy a broadcast studio. <laughs> like, I would do so much more than that. Or you could, he can buy his own baseball team twice. I'd buy YouTube. <laughs> you can buy whatever you want. Literally, too much literally. money. Too much money. Russell Westbrook is another guy uh, that's up there in, in that in that pay conversation. But he's getting, again like two hundred million. I mean, yeah. I get you know highest paid of each sport, but like when you're double the amount of the next sport, like baseball what? just has so much money. I mean, it's it's America's pastime. Speaking of baseball, by the way, oh um, want to shout out a couple, of our, a couple of our YouTube creator colleagues, Bad Dog and Entertain Talk of Sports, for putting us on to the Peronis. Super good oh, beer. Man. It's it, when I every time I take a sip, I can I can smell the ballpark. I can hear the crowd cheering. I can hear the smack of the wood. Ladies and gentlemen, Robbie J has just entered his jacks. feelings. We're gonna go ahead and end it here. Just hey, entered his baseball field. season's all it's almost here. You're telling me I'm about it. Yo, yeah, yo, by the way, you're wearing green at the St. Patty's Day. It's a Cubs jersey. I'm still kind of feeling it. it I, I, didn't, I, I didn't get to wear it for St. Patrick's Day on the show, so I figured. Yeah, yeah, we didn't do a St. Patrick's Day special. You can only wear this once a year. You're, you're I right. decided to wear it twice this year. You're right. By the way, shout out to Chicago. I didn't know y'all painted like the whole harbor and everything green. Like that was pretty dope. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh, we'll I knew celebrate, nothing about We'll this. celebrate in Chicago. Once yeah, y'all go hard. No other place is good. Y'all go hard. Back to sports. In other news, NFL free agency frenzy had taken place recently. <laughs> what an off season, dude. Yo, NFL free agency. It's not even over. What an off season. Not even, yeah. NFL free agency even helped us out a, a whole lot. Shout out to everybody new that just recently joined us. 1,400 views on our when we dropped that Odell Beckham Jr. news. Dude, I, dude they're crazy. What? 1,400 like, views in 30 the, minutes. The best receivers are like just Going, switching teams. Yeah. Like AB the Raider. The Raiders. Odell Beckham to the Browns. Like, this is absolutely insane. One of the things that I did want to bring up is what do you feel to you after we've covered everything? What do you feel has been the biggest move in free agency frenzy? Um I mean I I hate to say one of the obvious ones, but nah, we ain't even gonna talk about Odell like that. Uh, we, I think we Honestly, have, uh, I'm gonna say a very recent pickup. The Raiders just got Vontez Perfect, and I thought their defense was going absolutely nowhere. Nowhere, yeah, that that's a big pickup. For he's them. a Raider type of player. I mean, he's hard hitting. He'll put his he's a dirty he'll guy. Put, he'll put his helmet into you. He don't care. I mean, like he's a hard hitter. So. That was super recent, but I feel yeah. like that's just the step they needed. Everyone's been saying the Raiders are going places, but their defense is only it's, yeah. It, I mean, you could give up fifty points a game. Like AB can only catch so many touchdowns. So, so many touchdowns. You Derek know, so. Carr can only throw for so many. Marshawn can only run for so much. You know, so on and so forth. Um, no, it's interesting. Just enough. the right step. Just the right step is enough for interesting know. enough. With Vontez and AB now being on the same team, a lot of us remember that dirty hit years ago. Um, 
Vaughn says birth, birth it, and AB have let it be known there is no animosity. There's nothing there. They're here to do one job, one job only. That's win championships. Easier so, said than done. That is easier said than done because that is always going to be, be in the back of AB's mind, I feel. And Vaughn says is. That man tried to kill me. Exactly, yeah. So we may see some, some beef in practice or something. But Raiders fans, so that you guys know, you should be good to go there. Um, my what, about, biggest, what about yours? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's see. Let's see. My biggest Don't transition... Um, no, not, not Odell. I mean, that was a big one, but once again, you know, everyone knows about that. Adam Humphreys to the Tennessee Titans was the one that impressed me the most. Cause here's a guy that if you had on fantasy, he was getting you points. You really like Adam Humphreys. He kind of came out, he came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. He was, and on the opposite of Corey Davis at that. So this means now you, now if you're facing Titans, you got to worry about Corey Davis and Adam Humphreys. Delaney Walker's going to come back healthy. Look out for the Tennessee Titans. That's not bad. I will say, too, while we're mentioning just having that counterpart, the Cowboys getting Randall Cobb? Bro! Dude, that's so weird seeing a Packers. It's going to be the boys. weirdest thing I've like, ever seen, but that's like, think about that offense now. Cowboys Dak, are terrible. Amari Cooper. Michael Zeke. Gallup. Zeke. J Jason Witten at tight end. Jason, Jason Witten at tight end might be old, but like, that's the best security blanket you're going to get. The Randall Cowboys Cobb is a number ass. two receiver right now. The cowgirls are still ass. I'm not a cowboy. So I agree. I mean, it's, it's whatever. Yeah. But that was a good pick. Shout out to the Redskins for getting Landon Collins. We just now need to figure out what we're going to do at receiver. I think we go DK, DK in the draft. DK or Hollywood Brown in the draft. One okay, two. okay. So let me tell you this. We'll kind of switch gears a little bit. Instead of biggest signing or pickup, what team will jump the most next year? Team that I feel do is going to... not tell me the... Team that I... Redskins. Well, I mean, for us, a jump wouldn't a jump wouldn't be impressive if we did it because all that happened we were just a quarterback away. Um, a team that I feel that that is going to make a jump, I'd have to look at look at the Buffalo Bills after getting Cole, Cole Beasley, giving Josh Allen some weapons um, and a security blanket that he can check the ball down to. Cole Beasley to the Buffalo Bills is a definite definite improvement. The Bills have been making some noise. They have a two headed monster now um, to help Shady McCoy with Frank Gore back there. So I, I look like for that. the Bills to kind of make some make some noise. Um, I mean, sadly, I'm I'm gonna have to go with what everyone was waiting for here. I mean, I'm gonna the go Browns. with the Browns. I'm I gonna go with yeah. the Browns. And that's fine. I mean, dilly dilly. They're gonna win the they're gonna win the division. Yeah, I didn't want to go with someone so mainstream. You know, well, I agree, mainstream but now. It, but I mean, it's hard to not just talk about it. I mean, think about that offense. Kareem Hunt comes back halfway through the year. Are you kidding me? Are you are you gonna ride? Are you gonna let Kareem Hunt ride your bench during fantasy this season? Yeah, like, are you, yeah. I've, I've, there's been a lot of talk about. Yes, that. I already mentioned this on Sportscaster. Yeah. If anybody has seen the Sportscaster, I am not kidding. That dude will. He's not gonna be a top pick. No kidding. He's not gonna be a top pick. He's going to get picked the same as, like, yep. Des Bryant got picked this year. We don't really know, but, like, you pick him, and he sits on your bench. He's going to get And you happy watching that name just sit there like, oh, Just sit there, shit, exactly. I got lucky last year. got AP in the eighth round. I know someone's going to try and get him this year. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, that's 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 what we got going on in uh, NFL free agency. A lot of guys got to the bag in NFL free agency. A lot of guaranteed money was thrown around. Jalen Ramsey was looking back on Twitter like, ooh. Shit. Uh, Liking it because he's going to be a free agent coming up soon. I can't wait to see where he decides to go. I mean, yeah, he could stay in Jacksonville, but something tells me he's. It, he's it, stay. it looks a little rough. Yeah, that's know. a while away. We got a while away know. for that. I don't know. We'll One see. thing that we don't have a while away for, though, ladies and gentlemen, remember Sportscaster NFL rookie premiere, Rum Boys and Rookies hashtag Rum Boys and Rookies. Keep giving us those views on Sportscaster. I'm just Caster. excited to see this draft class, regardless Dude. of anything. Five hour draft I special. See where this is going to go? Yeah, we're going to be doing it. We're going to be doing it. There is some the, crazy defense on the board this year. So much. Oh, Greedy Williams and Oliver. Um, there's so just, many. There's no, you could draft the whole first round of defense and be happy. Like, eh, I mean, it, obviously, if your team needs offense, you draft offense. But if you only could draft defense, yeah. you wouldn't hate yourself. We're gonna we're we're gonna be doing doing a, a draft day li live live stream special for the whole first day. Um, we, we're moving some things around. We may even be acquiring another set for that. Um, we are having food catered for that. Uh, really? Oh, yes. Fuck yeah, from right. from a local local uh, barbecue company, Scooter Smoking Barbecue. The homie Kalen started his own business. He's gonna come through, show off some of his stuff throughout the duration, keep us fed while we're doing that long stream. The real MVP. The real MVP. 
But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you guys for NFL news. Uh, I mean, just again, wow. stay stay tuned for the rest of what we're looking for. I mean, the draft is obviously the number thing. The we're draft. the number one thing we're waiting for. Checking all these pro days, seeing where everything goes. You know, all the scouts are just their minds are blowing nope. up right now. I have no idea what's going on. So. We're as interested as you guys are. I'd like to see, you know, my team make some moves, even though we gave up some picks. I know you're looking for your team. Let us know what you guys think your team should do. Just Trade just need some a receiver. picks, pick up some picks. I mean, Redskins just need a receiver. We get a receiver. We're, we're okay at quarterback for right now. If we draft one, I'm even happier. Anyways. <laughs> Tell us what your team needs. We'll let you know what's good. Dilly dilly. So it's March. It's the end of March. Sorry, yes, sir. It's that time. Yeah. I got my bracket filled out. I know your bracket's been oh, filled out yeah. for probably two or three weeks. <laughs> I know the Pirates got their brackets filled out. So let's get into some March Madness. Before it starts, let's let's see. I mean, yeah, yeah. Robbie J, you love in the college basketball. Who's your sleepers? Who's your go-to? Is a 16 going to beat a 1 this year? <sighs> So sixteen is not going to be the one this year. I don't. I don't see that happening this early. That, that that's a I don't know won't beat UNC, bro. Fuck no, I don't. It's not going to beat UNC. Come on, man. Look, that is definitely not going to happen. But I can tell you guys some things that I that I do foresee happening. First, thank you guys for joining our bracketology tournament. Um, that was major, getting Looking everyone. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's super huge. Um, don't forget, winner of the Bracketology Tournament will win a Run Boys Snapback, just like your boy, your boys got, you know. But what I can tell you what will happen is that North Carolina is not going to lose to Iona. So that's we're going to go ahead and take that out of here right now. Um, Sorry, I brought it up. <laughs> it's all good. Now, what, what, one of the schools that we do need to watch out for here that could creep into that Final Four is the Michigan Wolverines. Now, I get that they did lose to MSU by one point. In, in that uh in that conference championship that depth bro but nevertheless nevertheless Teske's a big guy down there in the paint that if you get him the ball he's gonna bang the boards and he's also if on the defensive side he's gonna get you those rebounds they just play hard they bend yeah. together they they play hard they know each other you know? oh yeah just... pool look out for for pool uh we're always, rocking number two always dude always pool pool he's going he's one of those guys that, 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 that when he's in the game and the ball's in his hands um, the ball's in his hands a lot of the time, the majority of the time, for for for, for a reason, and, for and a for reason. good reason. Um, his perimeter shot sick, and you and he's definitely not a guy you want to send to the free throw. So you want to look out for them as well. Virginia, let's talk Virginia. Let's talk Virginia. Let's talk Kyle Guy. Let me talk to the Cavaliers out there. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hokey guy personally myself when it comes to football and of course basketball. Y'all know what it is, UNC. But Virginia, this is your year. You got knocked off by a 16 seed last year. <laughs> That's why I had to ask. Shit's embarrassing. You're playing. You're playing Granger Webb, Gardner Webb. Okay, they're 16 seed. What happened last year can't happen again. Step one: the statistical possible probability of that happening again is about a one percent chance, maybe even less. It doesn't happen often. It's not something that happens often, ever, ever. Fair, yeah. Um, last year, so I don't expect that to happen. Um, well, Virginia, okay, aside, okay. Well, aside from the 16s, who's some of the sleepers? You know, you see, Irving is a sleeper. You see, Irving is a 100% sleeper. Look out for them, a 30 win okay. team. Houston is a team that can ball their 30 win team. Houston's nice, but I think they get eliminated. They look sloppy against Cincinnati, you look slow against Cincinnati. Cincinnati's a guy, a team that what? has an ACC top player of the year. On their squad, so you gotta look out for Cincinnati as well. I will say though, out of all things to have to improve on, being slow is something that once you kind of get into the actual meat of March of Madness, yeah. you know, I mean, of the tournament, I mean, you kind of turn it up, you know, regardless of I mean, the situation. Gonna have so to. that's not the worst thing to have, but I agree. I mean, they're gonna, they're, have, they're gonna to. have to turn it up. Yeah, to they're, they're stay one of the it. few few thirty win teams in, in, the, in this in this tournament, um, and you know, you definitely gotta represent, you know, because you have you have that that, that level of wins. A one seed that it could go home early, Gonzaga. Uh, yeah. But it ain't gonna happen against FDU. It ain't gonna happen against Farley Dickinson. Shout out to Farley They'll Dickinson get for, for getting into the play in and winning in the play in. Um, but oh, over Prairie View, we we did cover that game via live stream. But it's it's not that's not happening against Gonzaga. Now I do have Gonzaga moving forward against Syracuse and then getting bounced 
by Syracuse. Ooh. So look out for the that. Syracuse, huh? That that was in one of my one of my that was in the spotlight sports talk bracket. I did that I did that one for in our in our in ours okay. against the fans. I, I kept um, Gonzaga there for okay obvious okay. reasons. But look for Syracuse to be an upset team as well. Well, what about my big sleeper? I'm looking at Murray State. I mean, how is John ja Moran not the main conversation here? So John ja Moran is definitely a top is a top NBA prospect, at least top three. Um, and when you have an NBA, he can walk them a couple rounds by himself. Exactly what I was going to say. When you have a top level talent like that, an NBA prospect talent, you can't discount them. But at the same time, the things that Marquette has done defensively, I think they could send Murray State home. I'm not going to lie. I took Murray State. I took Marquette. For the fans, I took for the fans. I took Marquette. Baby March is nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, one of the brackets that we're actually doing um, uh, that I, that, I, that I'm, I'm going to be in is the fantasy football madness. Um, I wanted to shout that bracket out because there's really something unique that we're doing there. A portion of the proceeds are going to be going to CTE Research for America. Nice. So we're we're doing something good. I just wanted to make sure that I, that I did put that out there. So shout out to Fandom Money P, Fourth Down Fantasy, Two on One Podcast, all the guys that hopped into that. You guys are, are fucking amazing, honestly. Dilly dilly, cheers. Hell yeah, good shit, good shit. Yeah, man. Um, for for my final four, I went ahead and I went with Virginia, UNC, Duke, and Michigan, and I had um, UNC beating Duke. You like Michigan, huh? They really did. You they, didn't they just, you really didn't just nice say that film. a couple minutes ago. You actually yeah, they, they, like they, Michigan. Yeah, they, 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 they looked really good on film, um, and that's why I picked them. Um, but I got UNC beating North Carolina 72-71 in the national championship. Mm. Duke, North Carolina, fuck four, baby! We will you got UNC. UNC getting that one, though? I, I'm just excited for a couple of those games that we have already seen that were close, close games. Yeah. I want those to just come back into the light and just... Officially be in the tournament. Did you? Who, who's your final four? Who's your final four? Or who do you got for the national I mean, championship? I mean, I got a, I got a couple different brackets out there. Depends which one. Oh, you're, so which you one, It depends which one you're looking at. One of those. One of those. You know one of those. It's all good. It is, you know it is. I might have picked UNC to win one of them though. <laughs> Definitely. You guys know that Robbie J gonna have you on an analysis. You know that I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you take care of. You've been watching sportscaster clips. God damn, I'm pretty much always right. Only two times in the last two in the last two months, only two times have I picked games wrong. You know how nasty I am? I'll give you that. Hey, I'll give you that. It's whatever. It's whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite segment, your favorite segment, Ty's favorite segment, our producer, Baby T's favorite segment. Why the rum is always gone. Ladies and gentlemen, Deli Deli. Ty, I'll let you go first, bro. Uh, so mine is actually a breaking news that had just happened right before we jumped yeah, yeah. on. Uh, Jermaine Charlo? J- J- Jamel Charlo. J- okay, it was Jamel. Okay. Yep, by the way. Uh. He, uh, it looks like he's about to get in trouble for some domestic abuse against his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, what was it, like two counts or something like that? Two separate accounts. I'm gonna just, my rum is gone is like, dude, you beat the crap out of some of the most, baddest, baddest most the hard-hitting taking people in the world. Like, what did your ex-girlfriend do to you? He's an idiot. He probably pieced her up too. Like it's he probably didn't just boxer. give her a nice little like. He's a boxer. He's one of one of he the fastest boxers. He probably fucking what's up? What's up? What's up? Like, <laughs> I mean, he probably he probably squared her up. And he's a featherweight, so he's fast. He's My man, fast. you were Flyweight. going places. Yeah. Your your name meant something. You were you were there. It's okay. They have the other twin brother. Um, it's it's Jermaine and Jermaine or something like but that. But like I mean. You know, it's, so the, the, the Charlo family would be fine. But I mean, Charlo, you're a dumbass, bro. Any 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 athlete that, that chooses to step into that is a dumbass. Like domestic violence. I can't no. disagree. Um some people come back and just get put on the Browns and it's just <laughs> nothing and you only serve eight game suspension. So like okay. You could be Robert Kraft and you know We're gonna end that. <laughs> um, why is your rum gone? Uh, my reason why the rum is always gone is because goddamn performance enhancing drugs and fucking TJ Dillashaw. <laughs> oh I saw that. He's relinquishing the title. Yeah, he has to relinquish his title, but the UFC is going to go ahead and suspend um, it for a year. For a year. They made it retroactive back to January 19th. But goddamn, TJ, like, how hard is it to tell your trainer, hey, bro, like, I don't think, I have to piss test. I don't think we're going to put the needle in my ass today. Like, just come on, TJ. You ain't got to cheat to win, baby. You ain't got to cheat to win. Look at John Jones. John Jones is coming back. John Jones is coming back. He's staying clean. Oh. <sighs> Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, he's just such an exciting fighter. He's such an exciting fighter. A whole year, 
Whole whole year of no Dillashaw, bro. No Dillashaw. And it looks like, oh, oh, to make fighting worse for you? It looks like Conor McGregor won't be getting that fight against uh, Cowboy Cerrone. Oh, who did he just sign the fight with? He I just... can't remember. It was, he, signed, he, he signed the fight. Cerrone signed the fight with someone I can't remember. But yeah, Cerrone got, got, doesn't, doesn't get to fight McGregor, so I'm pissed. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Robbie J with my co-host Ty Boogie. Yes, sir. Cheers to me. Cheers to you. All the wrong boys and girls. What it do? Dilly dilly, we out of here. Thanks for tuning in. You already know. 